week, uh, two days from now, the House Homeland Security Committee is going to hold a hearing. It's titled, The Extent of Radicalization in the American Muslim Community, and that community's response. But the title belies the passion around these hearings. Opponents say the hearings will single out and stigmatize one group, American Muslims. Joining me are two people opposed holding the hearings, U.S. Congressman Andre Carson of Indiana, and two Muslim members of Congress, and Congresswoman Jan Sikowski of Illinois. Congresswoman, okay. for you first, thank you for coming on, and thank you, Congressman. Thank you. I'm going to be really tough here, but if you had had hearings on this 20 or 30 years ago and said, I'm, going to, I'm a Protestant guy, and I'm going to hold hearings on the radicalization of American Irish, and I'm going to look for who might be supporting NORAID, who might be supporting the uh, provisional wing of the IRA, and just go looking for them and make some assumptions where we can find them and root them out. That would be seen as a pogrom, it seems to me. Congresswoman. Exactly. And, and when no you start rooting right. through a, an ethnic group, rooting through them, trying to find where the problem is and who the troublemakers are, as a presumption that they got them in that group, let's go nail them. Your thoughts? You know, we, we, we've actually done that during World War II when we incarcerated uh, Japanese Americans. We made an assumption about all the Japanese Americans. But I have to tell you, Chris, not only is it counter our American values, but it's also counterproductive to our national security because we are very impressive collaboration with the Muslim American community, many of whom live in my district, and, it, and they have actually rooted out and foiled domestic terror plots seven out of the last 11 times, 48 times over the last 120. Okay. So, you know, it, this is not making us safer. Let's it's talk about your district. And then I want the other congressmen to talk. Tell me about the feelings you've heard expressed to you by your constituents who are of Islamic faith about the holding of hearings about their community and their danger to America. Your thoughts? Well, there's what do you hear from your people? There's tremendous amount of, of resentment, but also a very hurt feeling. People feel hurt. They feel as if they're loyal Americans, they, they're entrepreneurs, they're professionals, they work for the, the local governments, they drive cabs. They feel really hurt that they're being sing, singled out, particularly because they do see themselves as loyal Americans and are. Well, that's fact. You know, if you're in my business, Congressman, you meet a lot of guys driving limousines, if you're lucky. You meet them at, at hotels. You meet them around the country. You meet them at church. If they're Maronite Christian or Catholic, I meet a lot of them in my church. And not a lot of them, but a significant number of them are friends. And I mean, they must wonder, how did we get under the beacon of investigation? What did we do? It's so unfortunate, Chris. The National Consortium on the Study of Terrorism released their report. The report was com uh, a compilation of uh, studies done by state police agencies across this great nation. And Islamic Jihadists ranked number 11, a distant 11, behind the Ku Klux Klan, behind neo-Nazis, anti-immigration groups, and others. Islamic terrorism, or at least the label Islamic terrorism, is certainly a threat in this Anti-abortion people, too. Anti-abortion, animal rights activists as well. It's certainly a problem. We need to contain the threat, identify the threat, and isolate the threat, and bring that threat okay. to death. I just don't like the idea of going after a group of people and putting a big blanket over, a big wet, hot blanket, and saying, you're the trouble, let's find out which of you are the guilty ones. Here's Congressman Peter King making his effort to defend the hearings that are coming up Thursday. Let's first there is no other group in this country other than Al-Qaeda and Islamic terrorists which is recruiting. We've always had neo-Nazis. We've also always had environmental extremists. What makes this unique and different is this is a homegrown group of people being recruited by an enemy from overseas. Congressman, it seems to me that one of the things we've been proudest of in our country over its history, and what is American exceptionalism, is the ability to come to this country and become an American. 100%. Absolutely. A lot of countries, you can't go to Japan and become 100% Japanese. You look different, you're not being Japanese. Or in China, other countries. A lot of countries are co so monocultural, you can't break in no matter what you do, no matter how many years you stay there. We have had problems like that over years, but we've been working on them. Is this going to work for or against assimilation? America. Are you going to work against it? Chris, absolutely. America will not win the war against terrorism without help from Muslims. I was one of those Muslims who worked in Homeland Security who helped uh, with local law enforcement. So you're Muslim. The FBI. Absolutely. I'm one of two Muslims in Congress. My dear friend Keith Ellison is the first who helped thwart these efforts. Uh, Congresswoman Schakowsky was right. I'm reminded of a conversation that Ben Franklin had at the Constitutional Convention with Mrs. Powell. She asked Ben Frank very definitively, 
what do we have? A monarchy or a republic? And he said, we have a republic if you can keep it. Let me go. How do we keep well it? Well said again. Let me ask you, Congresswoman, your thoughts on the end. I want you to speak to the feelings of people that you represent. I know you have people of Islamic faith in your district. You have a very, very district. What's this going to do a week from now when they know they've been investigated as a community? So they feel very resentful. I've talked to a number of young people, older people too, and it's created also fear in the community. Are we going to be targeted? What's next? Are there infiltrators in our mosques on, the, uh, on Friday? Are my kids safe going to school with their heads covered? So I, I think it really has alienated uh, a, a number of people or, or made them mistrustful. I mean, these are, again, loyal Americans. They want to be part of our society, of our communities, and they feel that they're being excluded and targeted and an unfair way, and of course, that's exactly what's happening. This is unfair towards okay. them. We've heard your voices. I hope the country hears them. I hope the Muslim community in this country hears them. The people don't like these hearings. Thank you, Congressman Greg Carson, for coming in. Thank you, Congressman Janice Schakowsky from out in, Cal out in Illinois.